Hey coach, it's Bryce from Synergy. Today, this video is geared for you as a high school coach to make sure you're prepared to upload your opponent rosters as well as your game videos using the Synergy Video Express application. So first thing you'll need to make sure you do is know what your Synergy email uh, username and password are so you can log into Synergy Video Express. You'll need to download Video Express as well. Uh, it's for Mac or PC. So you're actually looking at it on my screen right now. Um, once you've uh, downloaded it, logged in and opened it, you'll see a screen that's pretty similar to this. Um, and what we wanna do is we wanna do an upload, okay? So before we do that, I just wanna make sure that you know we need your schedule. If you put your schedule on Max Preps and it's accurate, we'll just take it from there. If you don't, you gotta make sure you get that to us, okay? Um, so make sure that you are checking your emails. Um, we have a form you can fill out with your uh, schedule if you need to get that to us, as well as your roster. Okay, so there's a going to be a link in the description here for a spreadsheet that you can download to upload your team roster and your team schedule to us um, via email. Um, additionally, um, on a game by game basis, you'll upload that opponent roster and also that uh, game video. Um, if you happen to have your opponent rosters, you know, done in advance, you can just get that to us in advance as well. Um, I figured most coaches that will probably be doing it on a game by game basis, which is totally fine. OK, so reminder, we need your schedule. We need your roster. You don't need to upload your roster every game, just your opponent roster if it's not already up. Um, if your roster does change throughout the season, you can just email our support email and let us know what those changes are and when they went to an, into effect. Um, or if it's just on a game by game basis, you can let us know via email for that as well. Um, ultimately, we're here to help. So keep us posted. Uh, let's dig into it. So Video Express. I'm going to do my uh, roster upload first of my opponent, my opponent roster. I've already got my schedule into Synergy. I've already got my roster into Synergy. I don't need to do it again, but I do need to upload that opponent roster for that specific game. So I clicked on upload and then I'm going to click on rosters. And you'll see here, this is where you've got to go in and find your team. Okay, so I got the filter to the correct season, to the correct league, which is high school boys. Then I'm going to find my team. We'll use our friends over at Hargrave Military Academy as an example. Um, okay, so I want to upload the roster uh, from the Bull City Prep game. I click on it, it turns blue, it's highlighted, it's selected, and I can click upload. And now on this screen, you can see it's kind of just telling me the process for how to get that video or how to get that Excel file uploaded into Video Express. So you can see right here, if I need that file, I can download it here. So I click that, it will open in a browser um, on your computer, and then you can select it. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it up over here. So this is what it looks like when you open Excel. And then from here, you can then type in all the required information for that team. So you need to put in their name, their city, their state, their mascot. This allows us to create them in synergy. Uh, then you need to put that jersey number, player first name, and player last name for every player on that roster. Okay, so please do every player, even if they don't play, because you might play them again. Then you don't want to have to worry about re-uploading rosters. Um, and again, if anything changes throughout the season, if you've uploaded a roster, you can play them again later, and there's only one change, just email it to us. You don't have to re-upload it. But we do need that roster in order to log the game. Okay, so once you've filled this out completely with uh, the team name, city, state, uh, all this other information in green, don't worry about the red thing. We take care of that. At this point, go ahead and close it. Uh, you can save it and then close it. Okay, so it's important to, to close it after you've saved it. I'm going to not save it this time, just for my purposes. Um, at this point now, what you'll need to do is hit continue. If you still have the file open, you won't be able to upload it. So that's why you have to close it. Then what you need to do is just navigate to where it's at and then click on it. And you can then hit open. And now you'll see that it'll upload it right here. So I can see it's initializing. It's a really small file, so it's almost instant. Now Synergy has that roster. Okay, so that's step one. Now we need to get our game in. So I can click on new upload right here. It'll take me back to that upload section. I've already done a roster. I need to do a game upload. So I go to new game upload and I go back to that specific game, Bull City Prep. I've got it selected, I hit upload. And now I can see I can upload from a DVD or a computer file. 99% of you, if not more, are gonna be using a video file. Um, you can see um, uh, that computer files are totally fine. So I click do not show. I don't need to see this message every time. It's okay, I'll click continue. And at this point, I need to go find that video. So um, I'll navigate to that. Okay, so I found my video, I select it, and I hit open. And then this is really important. You have to fill these, these little fields in to help us make sure we get this logging done as quickly and accurately as possible. So we'll just make up a final score, 60 to 59. 
and we'll say that the jersey numbers for the or the jersey for home was white and away was black and this game was quarters in this comment section if there's anything that would really help us to expedite the logging process if you uh, had a player that swapped jerseys at halftime to a different number due to a bloody uniform or if you're missing you know 30 seconds of video let us know when that occurs you know those types of things will help expedite the process at that point if you don't have anything leave it blank otherwise move on to the next section which is just acknowledging that you have the um you know the proper date and roster for both teams otherwise again your game won't get done if we don't have the roster uh, for both teams that's accurate it just won't get logged and it'll just sit there and never get done so make sure you're giving us the accurate roster so click acknowledge and then at that point you're going to click continue and now you'll see that game will pop up here that video will rip that will take a little bit of time and then it will upload okay you'll get to see how fast it's uploading uh, once it uh, says complete, that's how you know that it's been sent to Synergy and it's good to go. Um, so, and then we'll be you'll be set. So for this particular game, uh, we had actually already uploaded it up here. You can see, um, you know, when you started the upload, when you finished the upload, this team, it took them about 20 minutes. It was a big file, 20 minutes. Um, you can see how fast it uploaded. Um, so the faster upload speeds you have on the internet, the smaller video files you have, the faster that video will get uploaded to Synergy. So, that's it in a nutshell. Make sure we have your schedule, or if it's on Max Preps, you're good to go. Make sure we have your uh, your roster. Again, there's a link to an Excel document in the description here, which you can fill out with your schedule and your roster, and then send it to us to our support email. Um, additionally, um, there's a link in the description to download Video Express. Once you've got Synergy Express downloaded, all you got to do is upload those opponent rosters, upload those game video files, and then we'll do the rest of the work for you, Coach. So thank you so much for your time. We hope this helps. Good luck this season.